Hello friends, here I am again with another video on latest cue card to help you to achieve 8 plus than in IELTS speaking. So today's cue card is describe the happiest moment you had or describe a time you were excited. So I'm using the same sample answer for two different cue cards. All right. And the related questions could be where you were, who you were with, what you did, and explain why you think it was the happiest day or why you were excited, right? So before proceeding further with the sample answer, I would request you to please hit the bell icon and subscribe my channel to get further updates on my latest videos. So you must be wondering, what is the formula of getting eight plus ban in speaking? It's quite simple. You just need to use certain vocabulary, which is lexical resources, along with few idioms in speaking in all the three sections of speaking. There are some vocabulary and idioms which I have used in this cue card and I have also highlighted them in my sample answer for your reference. Even if you manage to use two or three idioms or idiomatic phrases, you can achieve a good band. So let's see my sample answer. Friends, I would request you to please go through my entire video and listen to it carefully as I would be sharing some of the tips over here on how to prepare this cue card based on a given scenario and your personal experiences and how could you talk about your happiest moment of your life in this particular cue card? Uh, well, I have prepared my sample answer based on a scenario which is very common for every student. All right. Apart from that, uh, most of you are like uh, students or some of your employees or some of your parents. So I have mentioned some of the scenarios over here which could be very helpful to, to you. All right. Since happiest moment could be anything for anyone. So just after the introduction para in my sample answer, you could use the given scenarios or your personal experience and talk about your happiest moment in front of the examiner. All right. For example, if you are a student, then you can talk about any delightful moments like exam results publication when uh, the day when it came out, you were uh, on like cloud nine because you didn't expect it, um, that result and it was like awesome. You can talk about any birthday celebration, which was like milestone of your life, like 18 year birthday celebration or 25th year of birthday celebration. Uh, you're meeting uh, with friends like childhood friends, then you can talk about uh, those experiences as well. Uh, for example, if you receive something uh, as a gift unexpectedly or you have bought something expensive, uh, such as bike, cycle, watch, iPhone and tablets, then you can talk about those things. Suppose if you're working, then you can talk about office related cheerful moments like getting a job, your first time uh, uh, salary, getting the salary for the first time and the happiness related to it. So you can talk about those experience. Suppose if you got increment um, in your salary, then you can talk about that as well. Uh, happiness of getting promotion and acknowledgement of work by manager. And there are several things you can just talk about if you're working as well. Uh, there are something called intimate happiness. Suppose if you are in a relationship and waiting for someone uh, from your uh, beloved for a marriage proposal, then you can talk uh, about that experience as well when she or he or she proposed you uh, for marriage and you were like on cloud nine. So you can talk about something like that. Perhaps some of you must be in a relationship and the day your beloved proposed to you, uh, that uh, they like you or they love you, you felt the love in the air and you were like over the moon. So you can talk about that happiness as well. If you are a parent, father or a mother, you can talk about the unforgettable childbirth experience, which is like uh, amazing experience. You can just talk about and it would be really um, like natural uh, thing which you can talk about. I'll explain the scenario, for example, just after the introduction para in my sample answer, you can say something like this. The experience I had that day was incredible and still I can feel the cheerfulness in my voice while speaking. I'm still getting the goosebumps remembering the day when my child first introduced to this amazing world. Indeed, it was rather it is priceless moment which I can cherish for my lifetime. All the labor pain I went through was nothing when I took my child in my arm for the first time. I was thrilled into pieces and the very next moment the tears rolled off my eyes. 
it was a tear of joy which every mother or father goes through in their lifetime including me everyone was on cloud 9 because of the most precious gift we got so this is how you can explain this scenario all right even you can talk about a wedding or engagement ceremony of near and dear ones where you had a veil of a time or if you have been on a much awaited vacation you can talk about that as well that you had a great time spending there with family or great time spending there with your friends in fact you can talk about a shopping experience as well as you are a fashion slave or shopaholic and love to be in fashion and buying several things gives you immense happiness once you bought a designer outfit which was outstanding and when you wore it you received awesome compliments and you you were on cloud 9 so this is how uh, you can talk about this particular cue card based on these scenarios so now see uh, let's see my sample answer it's good to have one or two lines of introduction in every cue card so here is my take well in my perception emotions are part and parcel of human life plus happiness or sadness is a state of mind that is driven by sentiments sometimes even the silliest thing could bring cheers to our face depending on how we perceive situations indeed i had numerous delightful moments in my life when i felt on top of the world nevertheless i would like to talk about one of the happiest instances which is pretty close to my heart i had on the day i cleared my board examination frankly speaking i was never a studious student who would always be engrossed in books and studies rather I was easy going carefree and least bothered about my academics though I always managed to secure good marks academically in fact my grasping abilities were a little different from my classmates and studying for hours like them was never my cup of tea however now i know how significant it is i vividly remember quite a few years ago or you can say a couple of years ago i sat for my 10th exams at one of the examination centers in my hometown to some extent i was content with my preparation however i had to wait for my results to see where i stood in terms of ranking as my future was entirely dependent on it plus my parents had a lot of expectations from me i was bundle of nerves for a couple of months due to peer pressure and performance anxiety no doubt i started to have blues when the day got closer eventually the day came when i was on the pins and needles before the announcement of my result oh my god i can still feel the goosebumps talking about that day i couldn't believe my ears and eyes when i heard that i passed the matric with flying colors truly the experience i had that day was incredible and still i can feel the cheerfulness in my voice while speaking about my achievement i was literally over the moon when my parents told me about how proud they are on me just then the tear of joy rolled off my cheeks as this was not only my auspicious day but also for my family i think it is quite true that one should go through pain and anxiety to taste the pursuit of happiness otherwise how would you know when you are happy so friends this is how you are supposed to answer this particular cue card based on your personal scenario using the lexical resources and the idioms which i have used in this particular cue card all right so all the best for your examination and stay tuned for the next cue card thanks for watching my video if you have any further query please contact me via email on the below email address which is ielspadi4@gmail.com or you can also leave your comment below in the comment section please don't forget to like and subscribe my channel to get further update once again thank you and have a good day